Hi, my name is Mark, and I'm a Panasonic communications technician. First, on behalf of all of us at Panasonic, let me say thank you for purchasing a Panasonic network camera. We're confident that your new product will provide you with a great deal of convenience, security, and peace of mind. Now let's take a few minutes and see if we can't get your new camera up and running. Here's what you'll need. Any PC with an internet connection, an internet router, your Panasonic network camera and power cable, an ethernet cable, and the configuration CD that came with your camera. If you want to take a few minutes to gather what you'll need or jot down some notes, just pause the video and I'll be right here when you get back. I'm not going anywhere. All set? Good. Then let's set up and configure your camera. First, you want to connect the ethernet cable to the network camera. You're going to take the other end of the ethernet cable and plug it into an available LAN port on your router. Now make sure that the computer you're using and the camera are connected to the same router. Next, you're going to connect your AC power adapter to the, to the network camera and plug the other end into an available electrical outlet. Remember, just hit the pause button while you complete each step and you'll be able to go through this at your own pace. Make sure that the green light on the network camera is solid. This indicates a good physical connection to the router. Next, insert the CD that came with your camera into the computer and run the setup program. If your computer has firewall protection, you'll need to disable or unlock that program. Once the setup program opens, click on Camera Setup. The Easy Setup screen will appear. If the MAC address of your network camera doesn't appear automatically, enter it now. You can locate it on the back of your network camera. Then click the Setup Camera button. On the next screen, double click the IP address of your camera. This will open another prompt where you need to click on Automatic Setup for Local Access Only. Next, the authentication screen will appear. This is where you'll set your username and password. Now make sure you write this information down and keep it in a safe place. Once you set your username and password, your internet browser will open and you'll be taken to the single camera view for your network camera. Make note of the numerical IP address and port number located in the address bar. You'll need these numbers to configure your camera for online viewing. Congratulations, your initial setup is now complete. That wasn't so bad, was it?